Canyolo on you. Yeah. Ah, come here. Allora dici. Rosso sei. <laughs> Ciao. Well, today guys is going to be another creepy one. Uh, I found this um, convent, as they say, you know, it was used by the priests or nuns, who, who knows, you know. And it's uh, quite creepy, but uh, it's doable because uh, I didn't found anything else. So there is also this other side that is inside. And maybe, maybe, if I'm lucky, I have also electricity here, huh? so wait a minute. They have made like a, a show here with... Uh, uh, how do you say, like a mostra, like when you expose uh, art, you know, and um, there is another room here, uh, which is this one, and I might as well, for example, Rotre, this is University of Rome, the triangle, you know, all Masonic stuff, programming the sheep, oh, yeah, there's a project to, to build the new uh, convento in 3D, so, um, sure, these are very useful for me uh, to use, uh, you know, as, as a place where to put my, my mattress. So, very nice, you know. Uh, finally, we have a, a good use, you know. So, this is, has been, you know, to show to the, to the, to the priest, you know, look how, how beautiful you will stay while the people are dying. So, um... And uh, what gives me hope are these three tables that God provided for me also today, tonight. And I have also two ban bran branches, ban branches. <laughs> <laughs> this is the setting here, guys. I'm, I put this, this thing here. And uh, the sleeping bag and my everything is on these tables. But I managed to put this white thing, one of these... One, I'm using it as a door, you know, to close less wind, you know, be warmer. And the other one uh, on the top of these tables. And so mattress, sleeping bag, and now it's time to eat something, yes. Cheese, rosmarino, and bread. Just a simple thing. And uh, here I managed also to close the, the window. So now I will be, I will be warm. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. So you know, guys, I slept very well here, but look, look, there's there's something outside, guys. Look at this. There's snow. Wow. Amazing. So today is gonna be extra hard. Wow, full of snow. You know, it's extremely hard to climb with the snow, guys. My feet are already wet, and uh, I don't know if I will make it, <laughs> let's see. If not, I will go back to where I slept this night. Look at this, guys. These poor horses can, are trying to eat this, uh, these plants that are full of, uh, that, that, uh, with, uh, with thorns, you know, because they cannot get grass. I'm uh, risking my life doing this today, guys. It's everything is white here. My my eyes hurt from seeing all this whiteness. It's uh, snowing heavily. I'm over a thousand meters high, and uh, this this there are mules and horses here, guys. Beautiful, guys. I really hope for this that you are seeing right now. A refuge, guys, which is really really something, because it has. Like the animals down there, that by staying there they give you heat, you know, and the heat passes through this. Uh, <laughs> look at this! I mean, it's not. It is very dangerous, guys, because I, I can see like uh, gaps, you know, between the logs, you know, that hold this uh, plane here. And very dangerous to move here, guys. But I like the fact that down there somewhere, after I finish all this mess there is a place for a fire and here after I, after I clean all this there's a bed here guys so um, uh, since tomorrow it will be sunny and it will not uh, snow like this uh, it's better to you know 
to stop here before you know getting killed in the mountain because it's still a long way so i'm really lucky that the solar panel works just by the light that the snow gives it's unbelievable it's charging my power bank because i had no energy very very lucky there's no sun today there you can see the snow guys here I uh, cleaned the, the bed, but I think I will sleep here. I wrapped myself uh, around the fire with uh, with hay everywhere, you know, as you can see here. Let me show you from here. Yeah. You know. And uh, and I think I will sleep like, like here. Maybe the sleeping bag, but with the fire it's, it's warm. <laughs> the fire here on the phone looks like uh, violet, but it's uh, warmer, it's like red. So now I will put uh, the bread as I like on the on the amber, how do you say, the, the glowing thing there. And it will be crunchy and wonderful. So it was nice, man, it was nice. But, uh, let's see around here the, the snow. Look at this, man. I mean, it was it was it was a very risky what I did, so guys. If something happened to me during this walk, you know, uh, who who could have could have um, been able to find me here? Now the horses that I that I you saw uh, lately are there, but of course with this phone you cannot see. But I expect uh, since they are not getting anything uh, from uh, the nature, they I think they will come in the night maybe and i will hear them down here because here there is hay let me show you guys i don't know if you can see but here is full of hay hey i'm telling to you hey 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 so maybe they will come and and be downstairs you know to to eat <laughs> so this is the next day guys i just want to show you where i slept this night Beautiful view. Here's the house again. I just met this this great guy that uh, helped me. I was just walking, and uh, I was asking him if he knew about uh, you know if there were shops here to to find some bread, you know. And he just told me you know come you can uh, have uh, some pasta with me. So guys, you're gonna love this. Guess where I am <laughs> sleeping tonight? In a COVID test center, guys. This one says tampon, means swabs. This one says operator. <laughs> and this one says special trash. <laughs> Refuse speciali. And so, you know, in this place, look, guys, I have light here and I have heat this one is heat <laughs> unbelievable this is light otherwise I would like have died here because it's very very cold here guys this is one of the coldest cities I've ever been guys so I asked uh, to this uh, like a uh, hospital you know since uh, this this town we're in right now it's like earthquake so nobody can let there's no place where to, to, to make me stay. Someone told me, why don't you go to the hospital? <laughs> what a great idea. Uh, the hospital, yeah. And I said to myself, man, these guys, if, if, if I get there, they will like test me or maybe check my temperature or whatever, you know. But the guy, you know, the doctor was, was really, you know, the doctors, guys, just do it. Uh, what the system, like the cogging machine, makes them do, you know. Maybe, you know, individually they are good people, you know. This guy told me, what do you want to eat, you know. And I think that I didn't, I, I didn't want to ask him much, you know. He, like, told me, do, do you like a torta, like a cake, you know. No, please, no, I don't want that. Yeah, but I have eggs, do you want uh, an egg? How can I do an egg here? It, uh, you, you drink it. Oh, please. No. This is for Christmas. Wait, it gets better, guys. I, I didn't told you. Look, I'm uh, I'm inside now, guys. So it will be less creepy. Uh, this is a, a warehouse. You know, 
But it's, it's just like uh, being at home, you know. It has just a window, and uh, uh, the, down there there's uh, heating, you know. And uh, they keep this place just to put, you know, old machines and stuff, you know. Uh, you know. And so um, they also gave me so uh, so they uh, since uh, tonight it will go below zero, guys. So it will be freezing. They said, uh, "Come, come inside." You know, <laughs> they they took me and put me here. And also they prepared this food for me, guys. It's fresh food that they prepared for me. I have no words. You know? So I'm I'm deep in uh, enemy territory here, guys. I'm in the in the in the home of the heroes, the so-called heroes. But again, you know, they have a, a program, you know, that make them do what they do. But uh, the problem is that uh, people, until you know, the system gives them money, do not ask what they are doing. So, but you know, if you uh, just like in my case, if you put them uh, into another program, you know, like, you know, I I'm here, please help me, for example, the same people would act, you know, for something good, you know, you know, so it all depends on how you uh, move them. At this moment, the, the, the program that they are, uh, that they are using is evil. But they do not know what they are, what the, the evil they are doing. But if you take them and make them do something else, they will do some something like this, guys. These are the same people, you know, uh, the killers, guys, that are going along with this hoax and everything. Yet they will do something like this, guys. Unbelievable! Very, very great people, guys. You know, without knowing me, they put me in this place where they have their stuff and everything. So thank you, God. You know, it was it was really hard tonight, guys. But uh, I finally got a place where to sleep tonight also. See you tomorrow, guys. So guys, I'm about to show you 3K, the mountain where I'm going, which is that one over there. There's a lake over there, of course, with my phone, you cannot see it, but let's hope you see something. There's, it's a bit windy here because I'm at the top of this uh, uh, thing here, this mountain here. Look at the tranny. So guys, look where I find myself. In, um, how do you call RV. Uh, there was this camping site uh, in this mountain. Uh, where families, you know, come for vacation, and uh, since there's COVID, you know, there's COVID, and uh, and actually nobody comes here anymore. But luckily, there was just one uh, RV, like one of those that you drag with your car. You know, how do you call them? Uh, movable houses, so to speak. You know, and uh, there's some old you know, battery or some, but I don't need that. I have mine. The solar panel, uh, solar panel, and um, and so uh, this was of a family. As you can see, they had the kids driving off of some demon from the kids, the possessed kid, you know? and um, and you know there was a just one, just one left in this camping site. This is a camping site. There you can see like the center, you know, where the crew resides and when they have bathrooms and whatever, you know, what, restaurant or whatever. And um, there's nobody here, guys. So what I did is, uh, oh, I said to myself, a, a camping site, you know. Let me check if uh, it's possible to, to to get a corner or to slip here, so I don't have to ask the people in this next town, you know, in that lake that I showed you. And so um, I I walked around the perimeter, which was like a fence, you know. And sure enough, the, the snow had like uh, ruined the fence at, at, at some point. And I just entered and I checked if this uh, RV that I saw was opened. Uh, and of course, I will just keep it as clean as it is now. These people, it's unbelievable, guys. These people are very clean. I was seeing how, 
how meticulously they put their clothes, everything is folded and clean, you know, and they will get the things as they've left them. <laughs> because also, I can't, even if I had a need for some of the stuff that they have, I don't, I don't have any more uh, back capabilities to, 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 to take anything, I guess. So, I assure to these people, if they ever watch, uh, or maybe the, the, uh, the people owning this camping site, that I don't touch nothing, I will just use this to shelter for one night. And sleep here comfortably. So thank you, God, for giving me this gift. Oh man, because in this place, guys, it's unbelievably hard to get some some place where to sleep. Because they they they, uh, they say to you that we had the earthquake and, and we cannot give you anything because everything is closed, which is true. So uh, so you have COVID, you have the earthquake. And, uh, and you have the fact that this place is really cold, guys. I'm really close now to the mountain, the 3K mountain that I told you, know, which is called... Um, the mountain is called 3K, which is it's called uh, Big Rock, like Gran Sasso. Gran Sasso. Sasso means rock. Gran, you know. So, see you tomorrow, guys. I'm drying my socks and shoes that are wet in the snow here near this near my near my new home. So guys, uh, first of all, you have to bear with me with my herpes and everything. Uh, I, I'm really happy. Maybe this will is gonna be a bit uh, noisy. Look at this, guys. So, so this is a lake, guys. This is a lake, and I decided to stay in that uh, RV, whatever you call it, that uh, two days because today it will rain. The problem I had was that I had no uh, nothing to eat. You know, I had no nothing to eat, and um, and but I had this town uh, near to me. And so, you know, I decided to, um, you know, to come to this town here, uh, hopefully, you know, I would find some shop here, but this town is uh, almost uh, desert, uh, uh, abandoned, uh, for, for, for many reasons that you, you will see right now, guys, look, so there are, they have uh, earthquaked these people, guys, you know, as I've said many times, look how they live, guys, uh, their homes are are not usable anymore and so what they do they, they uh, gave them this RVs just like the one I have there or like containers like this huge containers that uh, you know the sheep of course will put the as soon as they can the antenna to, to watch their lies but here is a container they have taken this thing with a truck and with a lift and all this huge thing and the people, the sheep li lives here, and, and and this one is a huge one, you know, as you guys see. Can you see it? Yes. So this is the situation here, guys. The town was totally empty, and even the alimentari, which is the place where they sell you food, was closed. And at that point, you know, I I asked the people. I have no 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 other way to to get food, guys. I mean, I don't want to ask the people because I know they will give it for free, and I don't want that. I, I, I'm not here to just. I have the money just for food, you know. And so what happens? I ask a guy. I told him, how how come this alimentary is closed? Uh, um, what can I say that? But uh, if you want, I can see if I have some bread for you. Uh, okay, I said I will pay you. I, I I always tell them, look, I will pay you. But they never take money, guys. People in this close, in this small towns, guys, are are very humane. That's why I do these things, guys. And I move from the huge towns because people here are are really not all of them, of course. But uh, you see uh, something that it's rare to see in uh, big towns. And so this guy told me, "Look, there is a restaurant here. Believe it or not, a restaurant in this place, this lonely place." And so I, I went to this restaurant, and, and there was this guy there. <sighs> Unbelievable. 
you know, at least someone in this town. And uh, he told me, look, unfortunately, I have nothing left uh, for bread and stuff. But uh, maybe I have like two slices I can give to you, nothing more. And okay, th thank you. you know? And he came to me with uh, something bigger, like uh, a, a loaf of bread. I hope I'm doing the right track, guys. Yes, it is the one. So the guy told me, look, I have something more. And he put also an apple. I mean, he told me it's like bread with uh, potatoes. It's very good, he told me. Okay. And I tried, I, and I told him, look, I, I want to pay to you. I, I want to give money. Thank you so much. No, 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 no money, no money. And I, and I uh, said to the end, after thanking him, God bless you. And he told me, I hope not. Why, I told him. Because I don't believe in God. <laughs> you know, since there is no water there where I where I am, guys, I had to come to this spring water here. Not very far, yeah. And um, you know, I was thinking. I remember, you know, because this guy said, uh, "I hope God will not bless me." And of course, you, God will not bless him. He will take the vaccine. I'm, I'm sure because he doesn't believe in God. You know, so. uh, I remember another guy told me. But this happens all, all the time, like uh, you have to cure yourself, like go to a psychiatrist because you have problems. I mean, uh, like, uh, why are you walking? Why are you doing all this, you know, all this effort, you know, to do all this? You could be so, so good like a chicken in your home, you know, in Rome, you know. And, uh, and I was thinking, you know, because in, in Italian they, it say, they say, uh, fatti curare, fatti curare, curare cure, you know, go and cure yourself. And I was, and I almost wanted to say to him, no, no, you go. No, I, I thought I heard some something. No, you, you go and uh, and cure yourself, and he will go and cure himself, and will die. So you know, the 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 dumb morons think they are smart, you know, by like you know not not wanting to to do effort, not uh, always choosing the the easiest path, you know, like they will do with all this uh, scam, you know. They will always prefer, you know, to not lose my job. I will, I will take the, the VC, you know. So this is look at this guy. This is real spring water, guys. That's unbelievable. Oh, look at this craziness. These people are are filthy, guys. Italians do not believe in God. Look at this filthiness. These morons. Look at this. What is this? Ah, oh, some masonry shit. Fonte Velata, like a spring water called Velata. This looks like, looks like a composite square or something. I'm telling you. Hey guys, can you see the, the view here? And now I'm going to show you where I am. You can hear from my voice that I am inside somewhere. These are my clothes. Look at this. <laughs> they have the cross in Italy everywhere, guys. Very cheap hotel, guys. You know, it's very rare to find hotels these days, guys. So as you can see, guys, this is Italy. And uh, this line now is uh, what I've done so far. And I'm almost, you know, to the 3K, you know, to the mountain. Grand Sass, a great rock. The lines that you see here, the gray lines, guys, are regions that uh, I should not cross, you know. But I have already, as you can see, I have crossed three regions, which of course I, I should be in this region here, Lazio, which is where is Rome, you know. So this is the, the lake that I am right now, guys. And, uh, you know, I really needed... Uh, because as you can see now, look at the how huge the mountains here are, guys. One seven, like you know, one mile high. So this is the lake. It's a huge lake. Um, it's not natural lake, you know. Even though it's huge, it has like uh, a levee, levee, obviously, yes, levee. You know that to keep this water where it is. Look where is the three K, guys. I will show you now. Here it is. These triangles that you see here are huge mountains. So let's let me show you the huge one. Here it is. 
this is why I call this series 3k guys because of this mountain uh, which is uh, almost 3k uh, meters high this mountain is a beast guys uh, and it's called uh, um, uh, Grand Sasso, però, but uh, you know the the part this particular uh, uh, veta, how do you say that? Like a peak, you know, is called uh, Grande Corno, the Big Horn, you know, being these monsters, um, satanic, you know. You know the red line is where I am right now. I'm almost leaving the lake. And my plan for today, guys, was to go uh, to start climbing these huge mountains. And I have some refuges here in the mountains that I wanted to go to pass the night. But since, you know, uh, today walk was really, you know, when I arrived at this hotel, you know, I was exhausted, really. And I said to myself, you know what, let me start the day tomorrow fresh, you know. Uh, before starting these huge mountains and so I stopped here just before leaving the lake you know as you can see the line stops here as you can see there's a restaurant here and the people here were very friendly they sold me some bread and cheese you know yes I go eat I go with the usual <laughs> you know I, I feel what my body you know asks me then and, uh, and I give it to my body you know Whatever is uh, simple and uh, not expensive and whatever. So, and uh, the hotel because, you know, uh, of course I needed a shower here and there, guys, after you, it becomes weeks that you do not shower, you need, really need a shower, you know. And so I just want to show you also the, um, this thing here, which are all the, the days and all the towns that I've done, you know. The first number, as you can see, is the day, you know, and right now I have arrived at uh, the 35th day, 30th, 35th day, as, as you say, and uh, and the kilometers that I've done for each day, you know, and the T, the last number is like the total, you know, and f uh, since this, since today I have uh, done 400. 20 kilometers, uh, which is like, I guess, 260 miles, 260 miles, from what I've calculated, like, if uh, a mile is like 1.6 kilometers, so that's it, guys, uh, today is just a day of, uh, you know, a bit, a bit of a relax here, and before starting this, uh, this last section here which is extremely extremely hard uh, today is Saturday and uh, tomorrow I will make I will make the mix of this uh, of this uh, I guess fifth week I guess or six who know so see you tomorrow guys very windy but here's where I slept tonight guys You know, I finally found some apples, guys. I really was really low on fruits lately. I've been eating some things that I see around, but in nature, but there's not. So there is this uh, countryside, <coughs> semi-abandoned. I, I have to say, semi-abandoned house, guys. And you know, I know I should not do this, you know, because you know. <clears throat> it's someone else's property. But you know, it was, um, it had this door that was open, you know, and uh, I said to myself, it was almost starting to rain, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I'll just pass the night here, guys, because the, the towns that are here, guys, are really, really, really small and uh, it's really hard to get something guys and so I said to myself you know I'll be here for for this beautiful Sunday and uh, see you the next week guys